The global theme of this year's World Press Freedom Day is critical minds for critical times. Media's role in the advancing of peaceful, just and inclusive societies. Can you tell us what makes our times critical times for media freedom? Hmm. Well, first of all, media freedom is absolutely essential to democracy more broadly. The right to report freely and honestly uh, and the right of the public to receive uh, good information and analysis on public affairs is absolutely essential uh, to the functioning of democracy. But what we have seen in recent times is regression in a host of Council of Europe uh, member states on media freedom in particular. We've seen huge pressures on journalists. We've seen journalists imprisoned, intimidated, physically attacked. Uh, we see uh, legislation, uh, bad legislation. We see abusive uh, judicial practices. So a whole string of threats uh, against free media. And these are basically attacks on democracy. You talk about those threats, but according to you, what are the main threats to media freedom? Uh, well, I, I've, highlighted, I've, I've highlighted three primary threats that I've seen uh, in a number of different countries. Uh, first is criminalization of defamation. In other words, making it a criminal offense for somebody to intentionally uh, disseminate uh, false in information about somebody. This should be a civil uh, case uh, brought by the person the target himself, and it should be dealt with by courts in a, a strictly proportionate manner. In other words, fines and not putting somebody in prison. The second is government surveillance. And government surveillance impacts on media freedom because journalists, if they feel like they're being surveyed, uh, might self-censor. Uh, they, uh, they will not do the job that they, they should be doing because they're afraid of uh, their sources losing their confi confidentiality. Um, the third issue has to do with public service broadcasting, uh, public service television, public service radio, uh, internet. Uh, what I've seen in a number of different countries is governments trying to take over and influence public service broadcasting and make it into government broadcasting. And this is a huge uh, risk because it affects the broader media scene. How do we protect media freedom in the context that you've just described? Well, I, I think first of all, as I said, public service broadcasting is absolutely key. It's been found to be an indicator of the health of a democracy more broadly. Uh, so it's absolutely essential to make sure that broadcasting is independent, pluralistic and adequately funded. Uh, and, and this kind of can set, uh, set the whole scene for, for media freedom in a, in a country. Uh, the second thing is, at the political level, to take every threat and attack on a journalist as being an attack on democracy, to ensure that they're condemned at the highest political level, uh, and to make sure that law enforcement goes after, uh, finds, and punishes uh, anybody who's uh, engaging in attacks or behind the attacks. Commissioner, thank you. Thank you.